Welcome back. Well, high school football season, it kicks off tomorrow, and at Harriman High School, there is one athlete who will not be on the field this year, and that's because he is in charge of school spirit. He's deaf. Mary Nichols has his story tonight in Check Your Health Report. As the Harriman High School football team prepares to take the field on Friday, one player is cheering them on from the sidelines. Senior Bryce Jackson played with the team for two years, and he played without being able to hear a single sound. You know, I transferred from that, from that other school, and this really has opened a new world for me. Bryce was born deaf, and up until just a few years ago, he attended a school for deaf students. With the help of his mom, Jennifer, Bryce told us his love for sports made him want to be mainstreamed into a public school. My older brother played football, and I kind of was jealous of that and, and his ability to, to, to have that opportunity. So I asked if it was all right while I went to the deaf school if I could be um, mainstream. During his sophomore and junior years, Bryce played football for Harriman. He admits there were challenges for both him and his teammates. Later, we, the quarterback wore a special armband, and it did have the plays. They copied one for me. Um, and the coach gave me, you know, he would say the number, and then I would refer to that on my armband. His teammates and coaches also learned sign language to communicate with Bryce. And it put everybody in a little bit of uh, different arena because they didn't understand or had ever thought about not being able to hear. This year, Bryce is in charge of school spirit for Harriman High. Bryce says the decision to not play football was tough, but he's looking forward to his new opportunity. As a senior class officer, um, there are different responsibilities. So my job is to keep spirit really going and, and have it be strong here at the, at the school. Mary Nichols for Check Your Health. What a great kid. Bryce will play basketball later this year. Many of his classmates also learned sign language along the way. They also use their cell phones to communicate with Bryce. He also has an interpreter at school during the day.